The purpose of this tutorial is to explain how to convert data from a frame formulation into a biocidal product family asset using the SPC and R4BP3. Frame formulations represent a group of similar products with only minor variations in composition. Frame formulations were authorized under, under the Biocidal Products Directive. With the entering into operations of the Biocidal Products Regulation, the concept of the product family has replaced the frame formulation. A biocidal product family is defined as a group of biocidal products that are used for similar purposes and contain active substances with, with the same specifications. A biocidal product family has specified variations in the composition of the products. Frame formulation authorizations that existed in R4BP2 need now to be converted to product families in R4BP3. While a frame formulation is still valid until the expiry date, it needs to be converted to a product family if the authorization holder or the evaluating competent authority wish to be able to see the authorization data. Also, the data can only be processed after conversion to a product family. This could be any kind of administrative change, notifications, renewal, mutual recognitions, or the addition of new member products. Two scenarios are applicable to a conversion from frame into a family. New family out of a single asset using either current single national authorization SPC and new family SPC and new family out of numerous existing form and, uh, frame formulation members available in R4BP3 as a single asset from the same market area and adding a new family SPC. During data migration from R4BP2 to R4BP3, not all the information on the frame formulation was completely transferred. The reason is that the information on the frame formulation composition was stored in R4BP2 in a format that did not allow ECA to rebuild the relationships among the single products. As a consequence, the frame formulations were not migrated completely. Now, you face two scenarios. The former frame formulation exists as a single national authorization asset and information on the other frame formulation member is missing. Or the frame formulation was split and now single national authorization assets exist in R4BP3. The solution is a process to merge the existing data in order to reunite the product to a product family. This can be done by the authorization owner in R4BP3 with an application called NA Merge. You will learn how to create a product family from data that used to represent a frame formulation. In the scenario number one, creation of a new uh, product family from a single national authorization asset, you will need to use the current national authorization SPC and add a new family SPC. As minimum requirements, you need to reuse the already existing SPC in the asset, complete it, and create a new product family SPC using the SPC online editor. It is important to remember that if an application migrated from uh, R4BP2 has not been authorized yet and you only have a case in R4BP3, your authority will need to approve it first. So an asset will be created uh, from which you will be able to start the family reunification. You can extend the family, creating, creating member SPCs and applying for a notification of family member in R4BP3. In order to merge a single asset with a new family SPC, you will need to prepare a family SPC 
the, with the SPC online editor, initiate an NA merge case in R4DP3, upload the family SPC, and in the case that the SPC was incomplete, you will need to upload the correct national authorization SPC available on the asset from which you start the NA merge application. If you upload the NA SPC, a first family member will be created based on the SPC information. In order to extend the family, you will need to create a member SPCs and add a new members to the family as NA MPF case in R4BP3. Open the family SPC in the SPC editor. Create a member product SPC. Edit at this substance concentration and or other substances concentration and save the SPC. Access family asset and start an MPF case and upload new members SPCs. In the second scenario, a new family out of uh, numerous existing former frame formulation members available as single national authorization assets in R4BP3 from the same market area will be needed in addition to a new family SPC. You will need to reuse the already existing SPC in the different assets available in the same market area and complete them using the SPC editor. In addition, you will need to create a new product family SPC using the SPC editor. The first step will require you to include single assets SPC and the new family as part of your NA merge application. If needed, the family can be extended later on if you apply for an NA MPF addition of a member to an already existing family. You will need to access the assets that are going to be merged, download the SPC and complete them with the SPC editor. These SPCs will define the family members. Initiate an NA merge in R4BP3, add the asset numbers of the authorizations that are going to be merged and upload the completed SPC and the new family SPC. In accordance with the changes regulation, you can apply for a conversion to a family if your assets in R4BP3 are originating from a frame formulation. Please consult the technical guides and manuals available on the ECA website for further information.